to chapter two, lesson one. This chapter is all about adding and subtracting. The essential question is, what strategies can I use to add or subtract? Today is all about learning about the properties, addition properties and subtraction rules. Properties are something that in math we can hold true. Addition properties can be used to help solve addition properties. So these are truths or rules about addition. Okay, We're going to use this purple box. In the math book, anytime you see a purple box, it's called the key concept box. And it gives you really important information. Okay, these purple boxes might be needed later on in the chapter, so you might have to flip back to this purple box anytime you get confused. Okay, let's go over these first. First, we have the commutative property of addition. Commutative. It means the order in which numbers are added does not change the sum. Let me say it again. The order in which numbers are added does not change the sum. Okay, a sum is the answer to any addition problem. So the equals 5, that's the sum. So the order doesn't matter. 4 plus 1 equals 5, and 1 plus 4 equals 5. Doesn't matter if you write the 4 or the 1 first. Okay, that's the commutative. Here's the associative property of addition. And the word associate means people who are together. Associatives or associates are people that work together. So you can think about who's associated or who's working with. Okay, Which numbers are working together? The ones inside the parentheses. Anytime you have a question that has parentheses, you can guess that it's the associative property. Okay, it means the way in which numbers are grouped when added does not change the sum. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you have 5 plus 2 plus 3. And when you have a parentheses, that means you always add those ones first. So adding this first, 5 plus 2 is 7, and then adding the 3. 7 plus 3 is 10. Over here, these two numbers are associated. You add inside the parentheses first. So 2 plus 3 equals 5. And then you add this last one, the 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. Either way, you still get 10. Then you have the identity property. You can think of the identity, that's who you are. So maybe my identity, I'm a teacher at NIS, or I'm an American, or I'm a woman. Those are things about my identity. You are a student. You are a boy, you are a girl, you are a athlete, you are a nice person. Those could be your identity. For numbers, it means the sum of any number and zero is the number. So eight's identity is eight. You can add a zero and he's still going to be an eight. Eight's always eight. Doesn't matter if the zero is first or last. Eight is eight. Carlos is buying the items shown. Does the order in which the musical instruments are scanned change the total cost? So does it matter if at the store we add 10 first or 20 first? Well, if we do 10 first and then 20 first, we get 30. If we have 20 and then 10, we still get 30. So no, it does not matter. That would be the commutative property. Commutative property. The order in which the instruments are scanned does not change the total cost. Okay, it does not matter. Okay, let's flip the page, but we're still going to need to use this key concept box. There were 16 people at the pool on Saturday. There were no people at the pool on Sunday. How many people were there on Saturday and Sunday? And means plus. Okay, so 16 people first, no people, so the answer is 16. Which property is this? Remember? 
It is the identity property. So we can write identity. So there were 16 people at the pool on Saturday and Sunday. You can use properties and rules to find the unknown or missing number in a number sentence. Okay, so find the unknown. This is going to be, we have another key concept box, and this one's about subtraction. So we're looking for the unknown. 10 minus blank equals 0. Hmm, well, let's look down here. When you subtract 0 from any number, the result is the number. So this is kind of like the identity property, but it's for subtraction. So 22 minus 0, still 22. 14 minus 0, still 14. When you subtract any number from itself, the result is zero. Okay, so if the, you have 16 and you take away 16, you're left with nothing. If you have 20 and you lose 20, you still have nothing. When you subtract zero from any number, the result is the number. So the unknown is 10. Okay, throughout this lesson, you're going to need to know these properties. So you're going to use these key concept boxes. All right, let's draw a giraffe today. Let's try it. He's got the long neck, the body, long legs. Maybe that one's jumping a little. I think you can probably draw a bit of a better giraffe. Okay, don't go on. Stop there. See you in class.